How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I really wanted to post a TikTok cringe video today but I don't want to be branded constantly as the guy that's always negative towards the car scene. I really do enjoy the car scene. It's just like the mainstream car scene recently is just hot dog water. It's just it's disgusting. So if you guys want to see that TikTok cringe video, I don't know, hit that like button. Let's get four likes. If we get four likes, I'll make one. Today, though, we're going to be looking at some racing. If you didn't see my last video, I went out to a car meet afterwards. I ran it with a Hellcat swapped Magnum. Interesting setup. Although, I was in the Supra, so if you want to know what happened, go watch that video. But that got me thinking, god damn, I love racing. So, let's take a look at some races today from Streetcar Scene. It seems like they went MIA. They're not posting at the moment. But follow them, because they will be posting again. Hopefully. When the world needed the most, he vanished. Anyways, let's dive right in. All right. So, uh, okay, well, this this B5S4 is in a couple ones. But I, I kind of want to see it run a Hellcat. Let's see it run a Hellcat because Hellcat owners, Hellcat fanboys, they swear that these Hellcats are all that. But we got a B5S4 quad turbo LS swap. Okay, I mean, honestly, I, with, with that setup, I, I think... Um, you're screwed uh it's still all-wheel drive and it's manual versus a hellcat red eye upper pulley e85 and tire so it's making power but quad turbo ls swap still all-wheel drive in this car that probably weighs 3500 pounds versus 4500 pounds i i'm gonna say the uh the b5 s4 i'm gonna say that uh, seems like most people agree with me quad turbo ls uh, you're you're going up against a it's a losing race you know Hellcat launched real good. Ooh, kind of got a little squirrely. I mean, it looks like the, the, the S4, whatever it is, is ahead by a truck length. Where's the foot? Where's the... Oh, okay. No, there's another video. There's another video. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I was waiting for. I was like, I couldn't tell. I, I couldn't tell from there. I don't, I don't got binoculars on. The Hellcat launched way better than I thought it was going to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, you don't even need to watch the rest of the races, man. The, the guy could have shifted in the six after that and just, you know, coasted. There, there was no catch in it. Let's, let's watch that again. Again, real impressive launch, but... Jesus. The Audi is on, like, street tires, though, so... It's, it's not too surprising. When you hear the build list, it's not too surprising. I mean, obviously, the red eye is going to uh, pull more bitches and way more men. Um, but, uh, yeah, the S4 is holding it down. All right, we're one for one. Let's see. Okay, just for shits and giggles. The same Audi versus a 5.0, 820-wheel horsepower MT82. Ooh, that piece of shit MT82. From what we just saw, and it looked like it just pulled away effortlessly... I'm going to still give it to the Audi. I'm still going to give it to the Audi. Most people would still give it to the Audi. Let's see if most people are right in their assumptions. Okay, they're just like they're just like warming up. I was like that's one hell of a jump. Game kind of like a half car as well. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's just cheat codes. Look at that. It's just cheat codes at that point, man. This is like when you're in Forza and you have like a, a crazy swapped car. Like I remember when I first got Forza Horizon 4, I built a LS swapped Miata and I was just dogging people like this. Just dogging them. It's like the same thing. It's like they don't even stand a chance. I don't know what the what the meta is right now in Forza, but Jesus, that's one hell of an S4. Okay, so we're two for two, but it's pretty obvious why. Let's take a look at this one. We have a C6 ZR1 heads cams ported blower. Also looks like it's on a tire, but maybe not for this uh, race. Versus a C7 Z06 heads cams with a 2650 blower. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love both. I love both. I mean, the ZR1 is cool because it's a ZR1, but... The Z06 is just as cool, in my opinion. Um, the ZR1 is just a lot more rare. Maybe the C6? I don't know. I'm just going to vote C6. I'm guessing. Most people said C6. I mean, what's the difference here? They, they, they have very similar setups. 
Whatever. C6. We're voting C6. One, two. <laughs> One, two. Dude jumped. I don't know who jumped, but it looks like we're in the C6 car. Oh, wait, no, we're not. We're in the C7. Yeah, you got to roll up that window earlier. Ooh, see? Now that the window's up. Okay. If that's the only run... Bro, he went on two so hard. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Uh I think if he doesn't jump, there, it, it, it's a dead tie. I think if he doesn't jump, it's a dead tie. And like, they're not even lined up that good. I mean, you can see this guy's mirror and this guy's mirror. You shouldn't be able to see that. So he's giving him a half car length. And he jumps, and he's right there with him. It's a good race. It's, they're two very, very equal cars. Seems like maybe the C6 starts pulling away, and then the shift comes. Yeah, I don't know. Very good. Very good sounding cars. I love Corvettes. I know I have Mustangs and shit, but I love Corvettes. They sound good, they look good, and they drive good. Unlike them damn Mopars. Them damn Mopars drive like shit. They don't even sound that good either. They sound like fucking boats. Let's look at a little American versus German here, okay? Let's see if it's going to be like World War II rematch. C7, Z06, E50, Heads, Cam, Full Bolton, and Meth versus an M3... Single turbo, 84, 74, 80, 85. These M3s and all of these new BMWs, it's, uh, I, I'd say BMW finally caught up. And I know this is going to sound kind of stupid. They finally caught up to like how Mustangs were with the Coyote, where very little money wakes them up so fast. Downpipe, E85, and like an intake on a, a BMW on a B58 nowadays is just ridiculous. It's like, you know, the Gen 2 Coyotes. You buy them, oil pump gears, a blower, you're in the car less than 10 grand. And you can make 800 real horsepower. It's crazy. Uh, that being said, I don't know. I'm going to stick with the vet, but uh, just because hashtag America, let's take a look. Oh, most people say the same thing. By the way, before someone says, Drew, you've seen these races before. I have not seen these races, so I have no idea. Damn, they are right there. They are right there. That's impressive. That's really impressive. That is like the closest race I think I've ever seen. They're, they're neck and neck the whole time. Look at that. They like lock in neck and neck like they're doing a fucking photo shoot. Look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. This comment says the vet got off the gas and he was about to start pulling away. I didn't see the vet creeping up at all. I didn't see either of them creeping up. This guy's blind. That's a good run. That's a really good run. I'll, I'll say that's a tie. I think that is as close to a tie as it can get. But let's see if this GT500 that's full bolt on E85 with a ported blower will tie up against the super big turbo with E80. This will actually be a really good comparison because I've raced a, a very similar build on a GT500. He might have had an ice chest. He might have. I don't remember. Regardless, uh, this will be a very similar build to my Mustang. Power range. Obviously, I don't have a GT500, but I mean, I hope the I hope the Mustang wins because that means I would win. So I'm going to vote Mustang. Super big turbo E80 versus GT500, blah, blah, blah. $1,000 money run. Okay. All right. Let's see if we would have won 1000 bucks. What is this camera angle? I don't even know what car I'm on. I'm guessing I'm on the Supra. Some people don't deserve to have 360 cameras. This is the worst angle I've ever seen. Fuck! Monica! Oh, great. Maybe that guy just can't drive. Maybe he just can't drive. Let's see this race. What are these angles? I mean, this angle's a little bit better. And he's pulling away. I'm going to blame the driver. Uh, I think my Mustang might be a different story. I'm, I'm joking. I don't I don't think it would uh, just because I'd be shifting unlike these people nowadays Ooh, 
Yeah, we would have lost our money. That super quick. What did he have again? It, it was just what? Big turbo E80? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you might as well say E85. Why do you say E80? Most gas pumps just pump out E80 anyway, so... It's E85. It's the same shit. Good race, though. Good race. Congrats on the Supra. All right, let's look at a slow car race really quick. Let's change it up, and then we'll look at one more good race. But we have a Malibu V6, low oil, <laughs> two passengers. That was actually my first car. I had it for a month, and then I crashed it. It was a, a Malibu. That generation, I hated it. it had no AC. It had leather seats. It was a piece of shit. Uh, versus a Civic manual, valve tick, newish, all terrains. With the little gorilla blocking the, the <laughs> radiator, I don't know if that's going to help, but... Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Malibu just because I used to have one. Oh, okay, pretty close. Let's see. Oh, from a dig. Come on, Malibu. Come on, Malibu. Come on, Malibu. Reel that guy in. Come on, Malibu. Fuck! Get him! This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Okay, first of all, I just want to say this is a very fixed race, clearly. If we look at this shit, we have a passenger hanging out of the Malibu, causing more drag. If that passenger was smart, he'd roll up his goddamn windows and sit there like a motherfucking good-ass passenger instead of hanging out the shitty-ass window, getting all the drag. What is he doing? I don't know what the guy's saying. All right, let's get another one. Let's look at another one really quick. Y'all chillin'. Hey, Three, two, one, go. Damn! Quit hanging out the window. Holy shit, he put fucking buses on him. He put buses on him. That's crazy. He put, he put buses on him. All right, well, good thing I wasn't racing my Malibu around. I would have lost to Civics. Just, good thing I crashed that car. All right, we'll do one more just because that one was kind of entertaining. We'll do a Civic Si with a sick underglow versus a GMC Sierra 2.7 <laughs> turbo with a blowout valve. I, I hope the Civic wins because it's a sports car. I, I don't see them as sports cars. Not anymore. But uh, let, let's see if the Civic wins. It, it fucking better win. People are saying Sierra. Oh, God. Power to wait. Oh, is this just a flyby? Fuck! God damn it, fucking Civic. Dude got ran up. If a Civic can't even beat a four-cylinder truck, how the fuck are you going to beat any other sports car? How is... Legitimately, the only thing you guys can race are Honda Odysseys. This is... Oh, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Not, not a good look for you guys. Not a good look for you Civic boys today. Sorry. Just gonna say it. not a good look for you guys jesus christ all right anyways guys hopefully you'd enjoy this video um i enjoyed it hopefully next video is some tiktok cringe because i love that shit anyways subscribe hit that notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else and until next video peace